To a certain extent, celebrities can pretty much create whatever persona they want and have the world believe it's all them. Easier said than done though for some stars who just can't help but let their rude side show. Welcome back to Inform Overload, I'm your host Maddie, and today we're counting down the top 10 meanest celebrities exposed on live TV. Make sure you let me know which celebrity you think is the meanest in the comments below. At number 10, Rick Ross. On the Late Late Show with James Corden, he has a game called Spill Your Guts or Fill Your Guts in which his guests have to either answer a question that could potentially get them in a bit of trouble or eat a bit of something nasty. Three years ago, Corden was playing the game with actress Demi Moore. She asked him to name one celebrity who's disappointed him. Of course, as a talk show host, he didn't want to hurt any feelings, but since he was looking down at a mayo, cheese curd, and soy sauce smoothie, he decided to answer. The host explained his answer by telling Moore and the viewers that in the early days of the show, Corden had come up with a musical spoof about binge watching Netflix to the tune of of Ross's hit song, Hustlin'. The men were supposed to be performing the song, but I guess before they could, he had a change of heart. Corden said, we sent the stuff to Rick's people and Rick had seen it, loved it, and was so excited to do it. But then Corden and a crew member did the routine for Rick in the empty studio for the rapper to watch. Following that, Ross said, cool, I'm just gonna go to the restroom. Corden said, about 20 minutes later, we just stood there and he hadn't come back. Turns out Ross decided to leave and his manager came back to say, yeah, Rick's not gonna do that. At number 9, Pierce Brosnan. I guess James Corden's Fill Your Guts or Spill Your Guts game is effective because Rick Ross wasn't the only star he called out on his show. During the segment this time, however, guest Khloe Kardashian asked the host, name a celebrity who's been rude to you at a party. Initially, Corden was hesitant to answer the question, but you could tell a name came to his mind right away. Of course, being on the audience's side, Kardashian encouraged the host to spill. Finally, he caved and named actor Pierce Brosnan. The story goes that apparently at a U2 concert, Brosnan and bumped into the host and his wife, but never apologized. Corden went on to explain, saying, I've literally never felt anything like it. His arm went onto mine and just pushed me out of the way. Corden then added that he looked back at Brosnan and he didn't even glance at him, just moved back into his area, just like that. Kardashian then suggested that he might have been drunk, to which Corden responded with, maybe he's just a bit rude. Mistake or not, next time Brosnan bumps into someone, he'll make sure it's not a late night host. That being said, Corden is one to talk, considering not too long ago, he was banned from a restaurant for his rude behavior. At number 8, Cardi B. It's no secret that the rapper from New York is not afraid to fight. If you get on Cardi's bad side, there is no telling what she might say or do to you. One person who found out fast was her love and hip hop New York castmate, Asia Davies. Cardi joined the cast of the reality show, which follows the lives and relationships of hip hop artists in its sixth season. During a reunion episode, Cardi ended up being exposed for her rude behavior, with Asia Davies being her target. Basically, there was a lot of drama between the cast members and neither Cardi nor Davies had been particularly nice to each other. It all started because Davies did not like Cardi but would not give her a specific reason as to why. When at the reunion, Davies kept further avoiding the question so Cardi B took off her shoe and nailed Davies in the chest with it. A quick brawl broke out between everyone before settling once again. This was a heavy shoe too and it looked like it really hurt. It ended up that Davies was jealous of her boyfriend hanging out with Cardi but regardless of what it was about, the rapper displayed some serious rude behavior. Regardless of who was in the right, there was never a need for things to get physical. At number 7, Christina Aguilera. Like a lot of other stars on the list, there have actually been quite a few occasions and even other stars who have had something negative to say about Aguilera. One specific star that exposed her for being rude is none other than the diva herself, Mariah Carey. Aguilera, I guess, did it to herself after stating in 2006 that Carey had slammed her at a party. Aguilera also made it a point to bring up Carey's 2001 breakdown. Aguilera said one time we were at a party and I think she got really drunk and she just had really derogatory things to say to me. Then she added but it was at the time that she had that breakdown so she might have been very medicated. Now even if Carrie did have something mean to say about her, it was not very woman supporting woman of Aguilera. I'm not saying she has to support all women but she also doesn't have to talk badly about her on TV either. Of course Carrie did have something to say back saying I'd hoped that Christina was in a better place now than the last time I saw her when she showed up uninvited at one of my parties and displayed questionable behavior. Aguilera wasn't done yet though because in 2015 when asked about not having a Las Vegas residency, the singer responded, I won a Grammy this year. Why would I go to Vegas and join Britney and Mariah in the oldies act? At number 6, Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen had a bit of a scandal a few years ago when people started coming out and exposing her for not being as nice as she claims to be on the show. This was an especially damaging claim for DeGeneres because her literal 
tagline was, be kind to one another. Over the years, thanks to her own show, we can prove that the host has definitely had her fair share of rude moments. One moment that was particularly rude was when she made fun of a fan gift. DeGeneres was doing a segment on her show where she was talking about bad gifts that had been submitted by her viewers. At the end of the segment, she included a bad gift of her own, revealing a gift that she said was from a fan called JB. When she revealed the gift, it was a painting of both her and her wife Portia. The host joked, it's called Ellen and Portia number 10. He took 10 tries, but he finally got it. He got it on number 10. DeGeneres threw a few digs at the painting, also indicating that it looked more like Ryan Seacrest and Kelly Ripa, saying she might have to gift it to them instead. To really drive home on how much she hated the handmade fan gift, she called it scary. And this is hardly the only time that she poked fun at her own viewers either. At number 5, Howard Stern. There have been countless times that Stern has exposed himself for being mean over the years, and I think hosting a live show has had a hand in that. Back in 2001, Stern had Freddie Prince Jr. on the show, and he told the actor that his engagement and marriage to Sarah Michelle Gellar wouldn't last 10 years. Prince and Gellar met on the set of famous horror flick I Know What You Did Last Summer and quickly became relationship goals within Hollywood. For some reason, Stern decided to share his thoughts on their relationship, which ended up being that they would spend a brief period of time sleeping together before going their separate ways. Stern was actually so confident in his own opinion that he put a large sum of money on the line. Stern bet Prinz $1 million that the couple wouldn't last long. In the interview, Stern said, What are you going to do when it's been 10 years with the same chick? You're going to cheat. Despite the actor responding, No, I'm not, to his quite rude assumption, Stern said, I want to make a written bet with you now. In about 10 years, you're going to hunt me down and go, Howard, I owe you money. Well, 10 years later, the couple is still together and they did not forget the bet. In 2022, Geller took to Instagram to remind Stern of his debt, writing, I think you owe us. At number four, Mariah Carey. I mentioned the singer when talking about Aguilera being mean to her, but don't be fooled, Carrie has had plenty of times where she was being exposed for her not so nice behavior too. One time Carrie was exposed for her rude behavior by her short lived fellow American Idol judge, Nicki Minaj. The pair started as good friends collaborating in 2009 with Minaj even praising her for being a sweet down to earth person after expecting a diva. Minaj ended up speaking too soon because she eventually got a taste of that diva behavior. The women did not get along while both being judges on season 12 of American Idol. In 2013, the rapper opened up about her experience working with Carrie, and it was totally different from her previous thoughts on Carrie. Minaj spoke to Ellen DeGeneres, telling her that initially Minaj had heard that Carrie did not want her on the panel, but she didn't believe it. However, when they did begin to work together, Minaj started to feel the shade, and that rumor she heard was sounding less and less like a rumor and more like a fact. Minaj even said that Carrie overcompensated by being even crazier. Neither artist ended up returning to the show, and Fox executive Mike Darnell backed up Minaj when he said Minaj was not the problem, blaming Carrie for the fighting. At number 3, Wendy Williams. The Wendy Williams show was on the air from 2008 all the way until 2022. That is 14 years of live TV talking with and about celebrities. With Williams, that also means 14 years of messy moments on the air. No one has ever had to come out and expose the host for her rude behavior because she does it all on her own. Williams once referred to actor Terry Crews coming forward and speaking out about his essay as not brave because he was just talking. Williams also once asked 18 year old Marcus Scriber if he'd ever had sex before live on the show with the actor's father watching just off camera. He was clearly uncomfortable with the question and avoided giving the answer. Basically, Williams spent a decade making fun of the stars because the host also once made fun of Ariana Grande's appearance, claiming that because she's too small, she's not a woman. Williams said when you look too young and then you're short, she's only like 4'11", like I don't look at her as like a woman. Clearly, Williams has always truly said whatever comes to her mind, and unfortunately, it's often just mean. These examples don't even begin to scratch the surface either. At number two, Barbara Walters. There seems to be a theme between celebrity interviews and the host not being nice. One woman known for her persistence for a story, even when inappropriate, is Barbara Walters. She has had many instances of being rude on air, but one particularly mean interview is her infamous one from 2000 with Ricky Martin. At the time, there were rumors going around surrounding Martin's sexuality. While so many people assumed Martin was gay, the singer did not go public about his sexuality until he published his 2011 memoir. During his interview with Walters, she urged Martin to stop these rumors and define his sexuality. Not only is it rude, it's just so unnecessary. I'm sure he had plenty of other things to talk about instead. Walters said, You could say yes, yes I am gay, or no I'm not. Martin then replied, Barbara, for some reason I just don't feel like it. Over two decades, 
decades later in 2021, Martin said when she dropped the question, I felt violated because I was just not ready to come out. I was very afraid. The singer also revealed that he suffers from PTSD stemming from the interview with Walters. There are plenty of other instances throughout her long career that Walters was exposed for being mean to. Ricky Martin is unfortunately just one of many. And at number one, Madonna. Over the years, Cher and Madonna have not gotten along so well, and we know that because Cher has told us so on more than one occasion. When it comes to a few interviews though, I'm not sure which woman is being exposed for being mean. On one hand, Cher is telling us how rude Madonna is, and on the other hand, Cher is sitting on live TV trashing Madonna. Once, when asked about Madonna, Cher said, there's something about her that I don't like. She's mean. I remember having her over to my house a couple times. She was just so rude to everybody. She acts like a spoiled brat all the time. Then directed towards Madonna, she said, you should be a little more magnanimous and a little bit less of a C word. Of course, Cher used the actual word and in doing so, shocked the interviewer. I mean, maybe she's totally right and Madonna was really rude to her, but then again, she's saying some pretty mean things to the world. In another interview, Cher said about Madonna, she's unbelievably creative because she's not unbelievably talented. She's not beautiful, but she's kind of. She's rude. What do you think? Did Cher expose Madonna for being rude or herself? That was the top 10 meanest celebrities exposed on live TV. I've been your host, Maddie, and I will catch you next time for another top 10 countdown. Thank <laughs> you.